Strike series. The Strike Connector series features a lever lock system and is designed for heavy duty equipment applications. The Strike series offers three different size rectangular thermoplastic housings that accept contacts from size 12 millimeter to 20 with arrangements from 1 to 64 cavities. Strike series size 12, 16, and 20 contact insertion. Begin with a crimped wire. For assistance, refer to the Deutsch Contacts video segment for detailed instructions. Refer to your wiring diagram to know which wire to insert into each cavity. All cavities are marked with numbers or letters depending on the design. Ensure the integrated TPA lock is open. If the TPA lock is in a closed position, use the appropriate TPA removal tools to unlock it. Hold the connector with the rear grommet or wire router facing you. Grasp the crimped contact approximately one inch behind the contact barrel. Push the contact straight into the rear grommet or wire router until you hear and feel a click. A slight tug will confirm that the contact is properly locked into place. Repeat this process until all of the cavities are filled. Please note that if you have open cavities, they will need to be filled with appropriately sized sealing plugs. Push to close the TPA. The TPA will not close unless all contacts are fully seated in the connector. Repeat the same process for the receptacle and the plug halves of the connectors. Make sure to insert the contacts into the rear grommet or wire router. Strike mating. All strike connectors are designed to be mated and unmated by hand. Align the keys in the plug and the receptacle halves. Push the two parts together and pull the lever lock on the plug until you hear and feel a click. Strike unmating. To unmate the strike series connectors, grasp the lever lock on the plug and pull up until it unmates from the receptacle. Strike series size 12, 16, and 20 contact removal. Begin by removing the integrated TPAs with the appropriate removal tools. To remove the contacts, Release the locking finger by moving it away from the shoulder of the contact with a screwdriver, while at the same time gently pulling the wire through the rear grommet or wire router. Repeat this process for all of the wires in the plug and the receptacle. Strike series size 8mm and 12mm contact insertion. Begin with a stripped wire. Wire seal grommets are required in order to maintain an environmental seal. Slide the wire seal into place on the stripped wire. To crimp 8mm and 12mm contacts, use a hex-shaped crimp per NFC 20.130 standard. For full specifications, refer to drawing 8925-003-0000. Refer to your wiring diagram to know which wire to insert into each cavity. All cavities are marked with numbers or letters depending on the design. Ensure the integrated TPA lock is open. If the TPA lock is in a closed position, use the appropriate TPA removal tools to release it. While holding the wire seal in place, push the contact straight into the rear of the connector until you hear and feel a click. A slight tug will confirm that the contact is properly locked into place. For size 16 cavities without integrated rear seals, wire seal grommets are required to maintain an environmental seal. Repeat this process until all of the cavities are filled. Please note that if you have open cavities, they will need to be filled with cavity plugs. Push to close the TPA. The TPA will not close unless all contacts are fully seated in the connector. Repeat the same process for the receptacle and the plug halves of the connectors. Strike series size 8mm and 12mm contact removal. Begin by removing the integrated TPAs with the appropriate removal tools. To remove 8mm and 12mm contacts, insert the proper removal tool over the contact. Press down on the tool to open the contact retention fingers.
pull the wire and wire seal assembly out of the rear of the connector. To remove size 16 contacts, release the locking finger by moving it away from the shoulder of the contact with a screwdriver, while at the same time gently pulling the wire through the rear of the connector. Repeat this process for all of the wires in the plug and the receptacle.